मैं मेरे प्यारे देशवासियों एक छोटी सी अपेक्षा आज आपसे सामने रखना चाहता हूं इस दो अक्टूबर को हम भारत को सिंगल यूज प्लास्टिक क्या इससे देश को मुक्ति दिला सकते हैं Welcome to another episode of Metro Matters. I'm Shivani Singh. I have with me Swati Singh Sambhyal from the Center for Science and Environment. So Swati, tell us what is single-use plastic and why is it such a big pollutant? Shivani, single-use plastics is any kind of packaging item or any kind of one-time use product which you consume. Um, the item first in it and then you discard it mm-hmm. so any item be it your chocolate packets your chips packets oh, we your, have some packets here if your, you can just tell us bottles. Yes, yeah yes. why not uh, so so this is like a basic yes. bubble wrap which mm-hmm. is a single use plastic item because most of this does not even gets recycled then we see all these bags in the market these days which to say uh, you know are promoted as replacement to your uh, plastic carry bags but this is actually polypropylene and a basic test which any one of us can do if you want to check this is plastic or cloth is just put it on fire mm-hmm. and it will coagulate and become like a you know plastic mass so this oh, yes. is uh, polypropylene which is again a single use plastic and does not gets recycled uh, this is your classic chips packet uh, it's multi layer packaging and it comes under category 7 so with the mlp is the thing is that it's not just plastic but it's a uh, um, you know mixture of layers of different materials like aluminum plastic paper compressed together to make your packaging material so that your food lasts for a longer period so that it retains its crispiness so that it does not melts away and you know does not gets withered due to mm-hmm. various climatic mm-hmm. conditions this uh, is something uh, you know we all come across in our day to day lives this is a pet bottle or uh, this is your category 1 plastic now pet actually is one of the commodities of single use plastic that that gets recycled that has a market as per industrial estimates about 90 to 95% of pet gets recycled in the country so this gets recycled into a fiber which could then be used to make cloth your shoes a lot of sport industry needs pet fiber to make a lot of their products mm-hmm. so this has a lot of value this is your the common carry bag that we all use um i doubt even if this is 50 micro now as yeah, per plastic it looks quite thin yes it's pretty thin now mm-hmm. as per plastic waste management rules only carry bags above 50 micron size are allowed but still in the market we see such bags which don't yes, get recycled yes. and which are lesser than 50 microns but most of the carry bags across the country don't get recycled because once it gets contaminated like look at this this is yeah, contaminated it has, dirt it has it, dirt yes, in yeah. it this will not get recycled because there's a huge cost incurred to wash it to clean it and then send it for recycling oh, okay This is your styrofoam plate and this is category 6 plastic. It does not gets recycled at all. We don't even know once it's introduced as a product. There is no market for it. So this you'll find in Anala, this you'll find on a dam site, this you'll find in ocean in in rivers everywhere. Uh so I think something that we should really really avoid and and something that has no market whatsoever. This is your common straw again it has no market as i said that uh, you know it's it's one time use product and once it gets contaminated you consume it for drinking any item um washing it will incur a lot of cost so most of the time straws are don't get recycled so i mean that is the challenge that most of the items that we saw um about 80% of them don't aren't going for recycling mm-hmm. also for the fact that most of them are contaminated what are the alternatives uh, we have well there is an issue with the uh, alternatives presently number one is that uh, we need to know whether they are environmental friendly we need to have proper yes. uh, guidelines uh, for the alternatives secondly we need to check whether they are economically feasible for all income groups probably i can buy all those alternatives probably you can buy all those alternatives but i can't ask a low income middle income group person to invest all his money on alternatives to plastics simply put he won't be able to afford it 
So one big issue with alternatives is you compare a plastic carry bag with a cloth carry bag. Yes. Uh, and that cloth carry bag being made from virgin cotton. Now that will have a higher environment and carbon footprint for making cloth from virgin cotton a lot of energy is required a lot of water is required a lot of effluent is discharged which with plastic is fairly less or very very low mm -hmm. we could actually look at making uh, you know this into a semi enterprise wherein you know textile waste from colonies could be sourced and i mean clean textile waste and then probably promoting an industry which makes bag out of it and then pushing these bags into the market for such items there are alternatives for instance steel plates uh, steel bowls a lot of cities have explored the option of crockery banks kerala many years ago it's been almost a decade they had launched something called the green protocols under which all events marriages functions they will happen only utilizing items that are not single use which means if you do any event let's let's put it a marriage has to be conducted in one town in kerala they'll source all their utensils and cutlery from the municipality bank so your major fraction of the litter which is like such kind of single use waste yes. that comes out after any event that comes down to zero all the national events even the national games in 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 for about 5 6 years have happened using any kind of without any single use plastic item being used so i think given the current scenario we have some alternatives uh, for some items there can be an immediate replacement but for some items uh, for instance multi layered packaging uh we don't really have an alternative not an alternative which would ensure that uh, you know your food product will retain the same crispiness will have the same moisture so this needs to be worked out and across the globe there are initiatives happening where industries are being asked to uh, invest into research and development and bring about packages to uh, alternatives to mlp uh so that you know the huge environmental footprint of mlps can be reduced what happens to people who are employed in this industry there's about 6 lakh direct manpower employed in recycling industry and about 10 lakhs of indirect or informal manpower employed i mean of course you're trying to protect the environment but you also need to look at the social as well as the economic angle i i doubt we are looking at the economics of it the mm -hmm. numbers of what happens when we try to replace this industry or when mm -hmm. we try to push this industry to shift or when we are asking to shut down this industry where will all these people go so that definitely needs to be um explored but for the fact that these are not the only items that these industries are involved with the industry of which would be asked to shut down or would be asked to kind of Mm -hmm. would be given a timeline mm -hmm. and would be asked to then shut down yes. or shift to an alternative industry so i think the numbers how bigger an economic impact would this be really needs to be explored how do you think you know uh, agencies could work on improving the enforcement aspect well uh, almost 29 states and union territories in past 5 years have worked on bans some way or the other we have maharashtra tamil nadu very recently uttar pradesh actually has come out with a policy which uh, has defined single use plastics which has urged all cities to stop using which has totally banned mm -hmm. the use of single use plastic and of course the enforcement needs to be worked out so all the baselines need to be worked out all the assessments need to be Uh, done right social awareness uh, needs to be looked into and exploring viable alternatives needs to be looked into clearly there are many challenges there are many uh, challenges yes. thank you thank you so much okay uh, okay